Hey, Trapper Tom here. Uh, doing a video today on uh, some tips uh, that I use uh, for uh, snaring. Uh, I have my uh, my little snare bag here. Uh, maybe everybody has one, I'm not sure. But in mine, I keep uh, my wolf and fox snares together. Uh, before they went in the bag though, I, uh, I boiled them. Uh, probably in two gallons of water. I have a container there and get the water boiling. I get to you know, do as many snares as you can in there. And then I once the water's going, I dump a little bit of bacon soda couple tablespoons maybe I don't know I just pour it in the out of the box there and she bubbles up and but it takes the you know the glare off especially new snares uh, those new you know they're nice and shiny at the start but it, you know it takes that glare a bit I think over time a couple more times you boil them it, it gets better um, so then after that I take them out and I and I kind of let them dry and then uh, and then I put them in, in bags uh, so I have and then uh, so I have, for the wolves, I have uh, short snares and long snares. I have six foot snares and nine foot snares around there, and some even shorter than six uh, that, that I bought uh, way before I knew anything about wolf snaring. Uh, so yeah, so I, uh, it, it makes it easier when you get there, you know, find a spot. I know I take a bag of each long and a short with me. Um, because I attach mine right to the trees, I don't wire them or anything. I, I just loop them through and then you got to cut them anyways. I mean, when you catch one, they trash the snare, so. Um, so yeah, so I divide them up in the long and short. Now I put a little bit of balsam in with them. Balsam or spruce uh, just help with the scent. And also, because uh, I set barehanded, I, you know, if I don't have a balsam or spruce around me, I just grab it out of the bag and, you know, I rub it together and kind of, you know, takes that scent away. Um, so yeah, and then I have my uh, fox there, same thing. I don't divide them up, uh, I guess, you know, if a person wanted to have short and long ones, most of them are pretty much the same length. Uh, but the same thing, I put them in and uh, with a little bit of balsam or spruce um, to uh, help with the scent. Um, one thing, uh, a little thing I've I, I seen on a YouTube video, I don't know if people have seen these, but I call them like a wolf, or sorry, a snare extension for fox or, or lynx. I never use this for a wolf. I don't think it's big enough, but so yeah, it's just a long piece of wire and then you put one in the vise and a screwdriver and just whisk, twist it up. But yeah, it comes in handy. You can wrap it around the tree and then you still got that loop there to make, you know, you want to give that a little bit extra there. So, um, like I say, they come in handy. Um, just, uh, you know, if you notice behind me, these two links here, I just caught those uh, last week uh, in a, uh, one of my snare pits I had baited and I had, you know, three, three snares coming into it and uh, I got a double header. So that was nice. So what else in here? I got uh, got some uh, the wire, of course, tie wire, and um, the old Lyman's pliers. Uh, these are awesome for cutting that heavy-duty wolf snare wire when you have to cut it, uh, and you know twisting. They're uh, they're great. Um, another thing I always carry, and everybody should, is you know ribbon. I got the old pink ribbon stands out I mark all my snares so like I say once it snows and everything limbs start coming down everything kind of changes if you can't remember exactly where it is um, it uh, you know I mark I mark them mark all my sets um, and another thing is my uh, saw and this thing every trapper should own a saw uh, See, so, you know, with an axe, I mean, an axe too, you always have to have an axe, but uh, you know, if you need that, it just, you can cut it so much easier, safer. Um, and then, you know, if you're setting snares or something, there's a branch there and you want to nip off, just watch for wolves, they might see that. But uh, yeah, that thing is handy, works well. And um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's it. So I go, you know, I either take, if I'm gonna, I take out half the snares if I'm going right in the bush with it. And I got all these, you know, all my tools with me. Or if not, I just grab a bag of long and a gram of short uh, wolf snares. Off I go, find my spot. And then I got, to, you know, I know what exactly it's in there. Um, so, yeah, like I said, hopefully these, uh, these tip help and uh, everybody's having a good year.